okay, how do I add text into a schedule that isn't linked to a model element? Yeah, I can definitely take that one, Erin. That's a great question. And I'm gonna share my screen to show you that. I've got, got a schedule open here. Um, and this is a, a working schedule here. And when you wanna add in a row that's not connected to you know, your information that's being pulled from your model, we can do that above our column heads here, our column headers. And as long as you're clicked in anything above these column headers, we can go up to insert, and this will insert a, a row above or below. And there we go. So I've inserted it below, and now here you can add in whatever text you'd like to. You can change the size of that text. You can change the formatting. We can merge these cells together if we want to have, um, you know, one larger um, subheader up there as well. So using that insert feature allows you to add in information um, like a, a, uh, in instructions or something along those lines. So um, I, I wanted to add to that. I, I think one of the, the interesting ways that I've seen uh, this used um, along with what Jill had mentioned with the uh, the instructions, which I think is brilliant if you're going to use it uh, in your template to kind of give people guidelines around how to how to utilize the the template or those particular cells. Um, but the other way that I've seen this used is uh, um, creating an, an entire schedule that way where it's not actually pulling data or extracting data from your model, but it's just uh, what we would typically refer to as a dummy schedule. Um, there's just text that you want to put in there, but you still need it in sort of a, a schedule format, but it's not really um, extracting data from your model, uh, creating a bunch of those cells, uh, rows and, 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 um, and columns, and just typing in whatever the data is that you want to display on your, on your, on your, uh, in your project. 